Bert. Hey, I'm Bert, and sometimes I wear a hat. And let's talk about Ultra. I know, old news, right? I've talked about Ultra, everyone else has talked about Ultra. You either love it or hate it, right? Some people will never like Ultra, and they only see it as a cash grab, inferior, and other people see it as the next best thing since the Alpha Strike line. I keep my uh, darts in a Dart Zone Pro box. That's right, I keep all the good stuff. Ultra darts, you know, I'm not gonna talk about the blasters because there's only like two of them that are currently out, so whatever. I haven't even picked up a two yet, but I, I got the darts. So these things are like what most people complain about or they rave about them. But you know what, I've tested these enough that I can say for certain that I got some thoughts. But I think these do have some potential. So I put together a small list of what I think are five ways to improve the ultra darts. And I know some of you are already saying, again, nah, Bert, these things can't be improved or they already are improved. Well, fooey on you. If you don't think that these can be improved and I can lose all of these really easily, I've got news for you. Let me get into you with you, for me, this top five list of ways to improve ultra darts. Number one, change the dart color. You might not think too much about it, but it is a gripe I've had about these darts ever since I laid eyes on them and ever since I started playing with them. I just don't like the color of these. Nerf has so many color options now, they've done so many combinations, and I'm not here to tell you that blue with an orange tip is the superior color. I'm just saying I don't like this. It's hard for me to pinpoint exactly why it is, and I won't dive, it, it's a minor point compared to other things that we could talk about with the Ultra Dart. I just don't like the color. Call me crazy, but I think this could be rectified. Next. Number two, make darts easier to find. See, this is a totally reasonable thing to be upset about. Let's say you shot a few of these off and you're looking for them in the grass. You cover your eyes, you're like, where are my ultra darts? Oh, there they are. I've been stepping on them the whole time because they didn't go that far. Well, no, not that part. I just couldn't see these things. Where were they? I, I can't find them. It's like they blend into the ground or something. I thought that camo ammo was a thing of the past. That's like... Oh, how to sell more darts 101. Don't do that with Ultra. I can't find these things when I shoot them off and I gotta go buy more darts. That's no fun. So make these things easier to find. And not just on grass, but on my carpet. Because I'm gonna have to find all of these after this video. And I already am missing like five of them. And I gotta go to the store and buy more. Where'd that one go? Number three, stop copying Captain Xavier. This one's more of an etiquette thing, but it should be stated for the record. Everyone knows that when someone, relatively public or not, makes a selection on their color scheme, that you are not allowed to copy that color scheme. Everyone knows what my color scheme is for a blaster, so if someone else goes out of their way to make a blaster similar to my typical color scheme, and I'm not saying it because you guys all know what it is, then that's basically copyright infringement and you, I, I can legally sue you. Yeah, everyone is well aware at this point with Captain Xavier. He's, he's the guy with the, the Nerf minigun that destroys nieces and nephews. Well, this is his color scheme, guys. This, the black and orange. You can't do that. You can't make a dart that blatantly rips off everything he has kind of focused his channel around. And by doing that, you only further divide the people who want to like Ultra and who want to not like Ultra. Blue and orange is original. No, literally no one uses that color scheme except, except Nerf. So by doing this dart style, uh, you've only made him disappointed. Can't think of a single time he said explicitly that he likes this because it copies his color scheme. And so I, I urge you, Nerf, reconsider for his sake. 
Number four, stop reusing old designs. I'm touting these things like they're brand new, but we've seen all of this before, haven't we? We've been lied to from the start. You know what this is? This is an old school Whistler dart. The black foam and the orange tip, we have seen that for years. You thought you could get away with them by not selling them anymore, but I have a brain. I, it's behind this eye, it's up here somewhere. I have a brain and I remember a time when I bought those darts and they, and they whistled and they were, they were black with orange and I still have a pack, new in pack, with a little, the end strike shield on it. End strike days, before the elite darts, before the ultra darts, before the clone wars. These are nothing new. You could have done something completely different, but instead, it just slipped right through your fingers. And number five, completely redesign the darts to be half length. While ultra darts find themselves in a weird category of being thicker than elite darts, but thinner than mega darts, they're ultimately still just the shortest darts on the market, which is odd. And it makes you feel like they should have just been half length to begin with. But fortunately, Nerf gives you the option with some of them to make them half length almost instantaneously. Breaking news, we're getting reports that there is a new Ultra Dart in the works and it is called the Sonic Screamer. It will feature a blue head that will scream as it flies through the air. And if I'm being completely honest, this fixes a lot of the problems I did have before and nullifies most of my recommendations. So I guess the moral of the story is thank you for listening, Nerf, and I'm glad to see that your Ultra Darts will not be copying anything else. Hey, wait a minute.